What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome and good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. True love. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to come by now. It's hard. It's a rarity, guys. Yep. Not everybody does get to experience it. So I feel very blessed I'm lucky. to have this. Very lucky. You know, even though, you know, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. That's what makes it that much better, right? That's what makes I make his day interesting every day. <laughs> See, at least he's not bored, right? And I'll never be bored. This is very true. This is very true. <laughs> And hopefully you're not either, because you want to get bored in a relationship. Yeah, bored, it's not good. But uh, this week, uh, we want to hit on some, some different things in health, right? And uh, we want to talk about the three types of health. And usually when you think of health, you usually think of physical health, right? Everything's working on my body. I'm able to you know, do things uh, internally. I think I'm okay. Every other vital organs are all right. Um, and I can go out and be a regular person, right? And physical health is a big part of your health, okay? But we also have other things that are part of our health, like mental health or even sexual health. And all three of these things combined um, are going to help your relationship. So you wanna make sure that all three of these things are dialed in correctly and then you guys are on the right track of good physical health, good mental health, and good sexual health. So let's talk about these things and break them down for you guys so you can truly understand how it's gonna benefit you guys and your relationship, hopefully. So the first one, let's talk about the easy one. Physical health. So like I said, physical health is something where you look at somebody, they can move all their arms or legs, they can do activity with no problems, everything is good to go. They're physically healthy individuals. Now physically healthy individuals might look a different way to one person than the other, right? Because mm -hmm. somebody that's in physically good shape might look different than somebody's in good physical health, right? True. So, you know, that's all depending on what the person's looking for aesthetically. But uh, physical health comes in the way to help a relationship because you want to be able to do things with your partner, mm -hmm. right? Activities, you're taking them on dates, you're going hiking, you're exercising together, you're taking a walk down the street, mm -hmm. whatever it is, this all has to do with physical health. And not to say if somebody's not in good physical health that you can't have a good relationship too because there's plenty of people that have disabilities out there that don't let those disabilities stop them from having good physical health. And whether you know they're paraplegic and they're in a wheelchair, they're still doing everything they possibly can to be in good physical health. I know plenty of people that have been in wheelchairs that have dynamite bodies, and I give it up to them even more in kudos because you know they can't really train everything in their body, like their legs and such, right? And they're not getting any movement or activity from their legs or any help. Mm -hmm. So it's usually just all upper body. So I give a big shout out to those people that are dis you know, have disabilities that, that create good physical health for themselves. And your relationship will benefit from it because you want to do a lot of physical activities, I would mm -hmm. think, right? Yeah. Be active. <sighs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> be soon down the hiking trail. I'll be like, I'll be up there in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know, you want to be able to, you know, tell your partner, hey, listen, I want to be in good physical health. I want you to be in good physical health. Because usually being in good physical health means you have a longer lifespan. That means you'll have more time together to share the love and have all these great experiences and memories that you will have. So, you know, physical health is a big part of things. No doubt, 110%. And physical health is not just your filters on your Instagram pages and no. stuff. Because that's not physical health. That's called filters. <laughs> no face tunes. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, so that doesn't mean just because you see somebody in a picture doesn't mean that that's what they look like in real life. This and that's true. Everybody, you know, everybody lives this perfect world on social media. Yeah. So, you know, I want to make sure that you guys aren't comparing yourselves to people that are on social media and thinking, oh, they, they, they preach health and wellness and physical health and you know, do this, do that. And, you know, they slapped on a little six pack. But, you know, when you saw them, like, let me see that six pack real quick. You're like, it's a little cold outside. You got a big winter coat on. I got my sweater on today, you know. So it's, it's true. listen, you got to be real about it. Real is real. It's true. Don't, yeah, she's right. Don't go by social media and what you see on there because there's a lot of fakes out there. There's a lot of filters out there. There's a lot of face tuning and body tuning out there. You know, you really want to see somebody, see them in person. Uh -huh. And if they look like that, they look even better in person than they do in pictures. That's your truth right there for sure. But if they look way better in the pictures and the videos you see online, you see them in person, like, who is that? And I barely even recognize this person. Is that really them? You don't want to be that person. So don't slap the filters on. Don't go crazy. and Don't make yourself what you are not. Yes. 
Because when you meet that partner, meet that person, they're going to probably think like, what the hell is this person trying to pull by me, right? <laughs> this is not the same person, you know? What was that 10 years ago? Or who are you? <laughs> so don't let that happen to you guys and don't be that person out there, okay? Nobody's perfect, everybody has flaws. The second one, mental health. Yep. Now I think this one, uh, you know, is a, a big priority, especially nowadays, the, our current state of events in the world. Um, I think a lot of people have dealt with more mental health issues in these last two years than probably ever before. You know, when we have suicides at the highest rate that they've ever been, um, and you have antidepressants being prescribed left and right like they've never been, you know, then obviously there's issues out there where people have mental health issues. And mental health is a big thing, especially in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You want to have good mental health, you want to be mentally strong, um, you want to be able to mentally support your partner. And that could be in anything from you guys learning from each other, for um, you supporting them in their time of need. You know, that's the good thing about having a good partner. Mm -hmm. um, that you can rely on your partner, maybe when the chips are down in your corner, per se, right? You lose your job, um, something went wrong, you have some health issue that came up, or whatever it is, and it puts you down in the dumps, right? Your mental health is it's on the decline a little bit. But then your partner's there to pick you up, mm -hmm. right? And they're there to support you, give you words of encouragement, these will help grow your mental strength and mental health. Some people might not know that underneath that smile, There's you might, smile. you know, that, that, that could just be a front because you got to do what you got to do. This is true. So you got to communicate at least with your significant other to explain to them what's going on in your head, what, how you're feeling, you know, make sure they, they're on the same page and right. at least understand what's going on. Right. You know, and then that way you have a support system. How right. are you supposed to have a support system if you don't tell anybody? Right. You know? It's, it's true. I mean, um, like I said, a lot of people are dealing with different mental health issues and not just because of the pandemic issues. Um, people face mental, uh, mental scarring or mental abuse per se, and this could lead into a decline in mental health later on in life um, because they're still going possibly through some of these traumatic events in their brain. Um, they keep rethinking them, we bring them up, and this just drags their mental health down even more. Mm -hmm. uh, with this, you know, we need to be able to help and support your partner, or even if it's just your friend per se, right, and bring them up. And, and, and help them if they need professional help too that's when you know you gotta you know push them a little bit maybe and say hey, listen you might want to go see somebody that professionally can help you and talk about some of these issues so maybe they can get over those mental health problems and be better for your relationship because mm -hmm. you know these can hold back a lot of things and anger and frustration and all these different things that they've dealt with before and now they're placing it on you because you're in the relationship with them and they think it's gonna happen the exact same thing as it happened before. Right. It happens all the time, especially with girls, guys. Or even guys, I could say. If you have a bad experience with uh, a partner and they cheated on you or they messed you over in some way, shape or form, you know, you're always gonna be a little bit more cautious of that in the future. Yeah. So, you know, they're looking at it and they're like, oh, this is the exact same way this guy or this girl treated me and I'm not gonna let, ever let this happen again. So I'm gonna put up these big barriers and mental walls that you're gonna have to start breaking down through time. And some people just don't let those walls down immediately. These are things that you have to work with over time and you build trust exactly. and all these different things yep. that help those walls come down and crumble, right? Mm -hmm. So you can get through them. And then when you get through those walls, don't do something wrong where those walls are going to go up even faster than they were before and double layered. Right. Because um, it's going to be hard to break through those walls again, especially if you did the damage, right? So mental health is a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. So physical health, you know, strong body and a strong mind, right? Now, the only other thing that we're missing out of this is sexual health. Yeah. Um, and that's a big part of relationships, whether you like to admit it or not. Um, and I guess it is a part of physical health, too, because you got to be physically able to have sexual experiences with your partner. Truth. Um, but some people are physically able and still the partners or the wife, the couples, whoever it is, they're not having the good sexual health. Um, I know me and Sharice, you know, we talked to a lot of different couples out there and uh, you know, we get a lot of feedback. And you know, some couples, it's just all over the wall of when they're having sexual experiences. Um, and so sexual- random. Yeah, it, it is, it's, it's really random. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, these sexual experiences have not just you having sex with somebody, but it's you actually pairing yourself down, lowering inhibitions, um, you guys bonding on that certain sexual level, right? And that's bringing you guys closer. But so that's a big, big thing out there. So you want to make sure that you guys are 
know, appreciate each other on a physical level too, as far as sexual. And it doesn't have to be having sex and kissing, like she said. Yeah. Sharing of that experience. Cuddling. You know, whatever I love cuddling. it is. That'll bring you guys closer together as a, a pair. And it releases those great hormones like oxytocin, yeah. endorphins, make you happy. serotonin. We want these things. These make us happy. You have a great mood, right? You don't want to be frowning upside down or all frustrated. Sexual tension can create frustrations <laughs> and it can create a mean pattern for you. Yeah. You know, you go 30 or 60 days if, if you have, God bless you. But me, I couldn't do that. Or nobody's, if I do, I would have to have some self love. I was going to say, so nobody's going 30 or 60 days. It's, it's going to be tough, right? So they got a laptop. Just keep this in consideration and remember <laughs> that, you know, all three of these things, you know, really circumference health mental health, physical health, and sexual health. So, guys, take it for what it is. Enjoy your partner, enjoy your future partner, whatever it is, and make sure you guys are tuning in to us every week, 11 a.m. on ABC, me and Cherise for Cupid's Corner. If you don't catch it live, DVR it. And if you can't DVR it, make sure you go to YouTube, look up Titan Medical Center, watch all these great Cupid Corner episodes and a lot more. So we'll see you guys next Sunday, 11 a.m. on ABC. Yep, I'll see you then.